Chapter 6. Justice can't believe it. Congratulations! Is all big one and is all big and bright right there in front of him, but he still can't believe it. When he sat down at his laptop, he expected to have to click a bunch of different links to get to his admissions decision. But the second he logged in to the website, a giant bulldog filled the screen as the yell fight song played all loud and bold and beautiful. His phone is in his hand now and he's tapping. She picks up on the first ring. Hello? S. Just. Is everything okay? S. I got in. What? I got in, SJ. What are you talking? Wait, you got in? Yes. Like, got in, got in? Like, you're in? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Justice reads the computer screen again, and it really hits him. S, your boy is a yelly. OMG. I can't believe it. Just drops his head back and closes his eyes. All the bad stuff that's happened in the past few few months falls away. After a pause, he hears, Mom, Dad, Justice going to yell. And then, wow, congratulations, Justice, from SJ's mom. And attaboy, just mister, from SJ's dad, who's been calling him that since the first time he showed up at SJ's house to work on debate stuff. Ah, just, this is the best Hanukkah present ever. You realize this means we'll only be an hour and a half away from each other, right? That's when it smacks him again, the feeling. The one that makes his heart beat faster as his head go fuzzy when he's talking to her sometimes. It's different from how I from how he felt about Mello. And that's what scares Just. It occurs to him that he dialed SJ before he called his mama, which says way more than he wants to hear right now. S, I gotta go, he says. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm so excited. Just smiles, very much in spite of himself. Me too. Yeah, this has to stop. Thanks for calling to share the news, she says. Means a lot to me that you did. Means a lot to me that you're so amped. (laughs) Probably shouldn't have said that. Are you kidding? How could I not be? Justice clears his throat. I hope you have a nice night, SJ. You too, Just. Sweet dreams. But Justice doesn't dream at all. He can't sleep. Too much on his mind. Yell for one. Hello, dream come true. (laughs) And then SJ. How could I not be? She said. What is he supposed to do with that? He called mama as soon as he as he and SJ hung up. But it went to voicemail. And since he couldn't bring himself to leave such a big news, leave such big news in a message, he went to bed with the weight of SJ gnawing before mama on his chest. The next morning, he's standing near the omelet station in the dining hall when he hears his name and shouted from across the room. It's her, and she's bounding in his direction. S! Justice shouts, throwing his arms wide without thinking. She leaps into them and wraps her legs around his waist. It's a lot. She's also in uniform, which means S. You know you're in a skirt, right? Crap! She scrambles down. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Her face is all red, so she covers it with her hands. It might be the cutest thing Just has ever seen. He pulls her hands down, smiles. That was probably the best hug I've ever gotten in my life. She shakes her head. I can't believe I attacked you. I just got so excited. Just laughs. Me too, S. I hope you'll come see your boy every now and then. I'll definitely come and see you. You would think Just had just proposed the way SJ's face lights up. He should not be saying this kind of stuff, and he definitely shouldn't be meaning it. She smiles. He smiles back. She stares. He stares back. He realizes he's still holding her hand and looks at her lips. Um, hey, Just... Just head snaps to the right. Mello? He snatches his hands away from SJ's, uh... When he turns back to SJ, her smile is melting off her face. He watches Mello's green eyes shift back and forth between him and SJ. SJ's smile has melted so thoroughly, it's officially a scowl. Mello clears her throat. 
Oh, uh, sup, Mello, Just says. I was hoping you could tell me, Justice. Except her eyes are on SJ. No one speaks. Then, okay, um, guess I'll see you in class, SJ says. Tongue-tied, Justice, Justice watches her pivot and walk away without looking back. When he faces Mello again, she's smirking in SJ's direction. Justice coughs to get Mello's attention. She turns to him and crosses her arms. So I hear you got into Yale, she says. Yeah, I did. That what SJ was so excited about? Yeah, Justice gulps. She's going to Columbia. It's pretty close by. Mello shifts her focus to the door. To the doorway, SJ had disappeared through so you two are a thing now what no i saw her jump on you justice it's not like that Mel. except it is obviously we're just good friends he says to the air debate partners you know what i mean good she takes a step closer he can tell she is not convinced but that's the thing about mellow if she wants something she'll do whatever it takes to get it i was hoping we can hang out soon she runs a finger down the center of Justice's chest and, ho and hooks it into the waistband of his pants. Uh, yeah, his voice cracks and everything. That, uh, uh, that, that'd be cool. Awesome. I'm actually pretty, pretty sad you're going to be leaving me. You sure you want to go so far away? Just shifts his attention over her shoulder and scratches his head. I'll call you later, okay? All right, Just says. She squeezes his biceps and kisses him in the little nook where his jawbone meets his neck. Bye, Jess. Jess doesn't say a word, just stares at Mello's butt as she saunters off.